I'm Mylene. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I am making candy. What kind of candy? I am making cherry cordials my way. Now, I, Ain't found, no <laughs> I found a recipe. It was on the Tiki Taki. And uh, girl made cherry cordials. Now, she used the uh, chocolate almond bark. I am using the white almond bark that does not have any cocoa or chocolate of any kind in it because of Piggy being allergic to chocolate. Uh, it looked very simple to make. And these are the ingredients you're going to need. Uh, one jar of uh, maraschino cherries. Maraschino cherry. And they're drained. And then once you drain them, you put them in a bowl on a paper towel to let them finish draining. In case there's any excess liquid. Now I have about uh, one and a fourth jars of maraschino cherries here because I had a few in the refrigerator I wanted to go ahead and get rid of as well. You need um, two cups of powdered sugar. Um, and if you need more powdered sugar, you can use more powdered sugar, but uh, two cups should work. In a minute, more, more, more. <laughs> Three tablespoons of butter, softened, and three tablespoons of corn syrup. You can use Cairo syrup, you can use store brand syrup, whatever you want to use, okay? Same with the almond bark. Whatever brand you want to use, it's entirely up to you. And um, the first thing we need to do after, like I said, we drain the cherries, that's the very first thing you need to do. And then in a bowl, I'm going to use mine in a mixer because you can do this by hand, mix it up by hand, or you can mix it up with a mixer. Uh, you want to mix together your powdered sugar, your butter, and your corn syrup until it forms a dough ball. So what I'm going to do is put my butter and powdered sugar and corn syrup in this mixer here and mix it up. Y'all here skittering around. It's our kitty cats playing. Yeah, but they decided it's too cold to play outside, so they're going to play inside. They're going to kind of frustrate us. Yeah. <laughs> That's the puppy dog playing with them. Or them playing with the puppy dog, I should say. Might be them playing with the puppy dog. And they, he got a little claw and didn't like it. Okay, now we'll pour this corn syrup on top here. Y'all, if y'all had seen me in here yesterday looking for my corn syrup, I knew I had some. But trying to find it. Couldn't remember where I'd put it. And then it was right in front of my face. Bit snake get it better. Y'all ever do that? Put stuff where you know you'll find it, and then when you're looking for it, you can't find it. But then when you do find it, it's like right there in front of you. And don't feel bad, folks. I'll go to do that. I'll be sitting there. I'll be looking for something. I know I've got it nearby somewhere. I just can't spot it. Be like, baby, you remember where I put she'll come over there right beside me and pick it up and hand it to me. But seriously. That's the way it goes. I'm gonna hold on to that for just a minute. You're gonna hold on to that, alright. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get the rest of that corn syrup off of there. I don't wanna waste none of that stuff. Okay. So when I start this off, I'm gonna put it on a low mix. There you go, Piggy. You can have that now. I can have that now. Yeah. What about that bowl underneath it? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Because this powdered sugar will fly, y'all.
It's getting there, y'all. Our dough ball. I'm one last the other night talking about that way I talk reminds him that one guy with that head on the girl and he didn't got got so I didn't know if I'm on him. Bob Gardner. Well I'm king of the hill. Well I'm king of the hill. No, this is my actual oh. living character. I think that's where they got it for from from King of the Hill. Oh. Go back further than King of the Hill. Uh, I have no idea. So, you know, I'm just thinking, I'm going to give him a little 20 beat. Who you talking said about, that. Baby? Some, somebody on one of the lives the other night said that I might have never that. Uh, who, Don't who? remember if it was Jesse or one of the others. Uh, on, on Mr. Mind you, who? 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 Yeah, they said who. I can't remember his name. Oh, I don't know who it is then. <laughs> okay. Whichever one of y'all said that, put it in the comments to her which one that was. Please, did y'all see this? I told y'all my memory ain't worth nothing. All right, let's scratch that off. Don't know what I was doing when I was doing that. Don't look like I'll be doing that too much, folks. It, uh, that set off her aggravation meter. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. And y'all, this is sticky. Now, the woman that made these, I can't remember her name for the life of me. I don't remember who it was. Uh, she said, you just take a small pinch of this. No, you don't have to have a whole lot. You basically just want enough where you take one of the cherries and you want to put that around the cherry. Like that. And then you just kind of roll it to where it's closed up. Like that. And like that. Put on, put on wax paper, not parchment paper, but wax paper. And you do that to all of them. Then you set them in the refrigerator. Once you get them all done, you'll put them in the refrigerator for about 15, I think it said 15 minutes. So I'll look and see what it says. Um, wrap in a small piece of dough. Roll them to cherry is completely covered. Place in the refrigerator. No, place, place on the parchment line pan. Place in... Uh, Oh, it says place in the freezer for 30 minutes. Not refrigerator, but the freezer for 30 minutes. Get them nice and chilled. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to finish out this pan and put them in the freezer. And when I come back, we'll start dipping them in the melted almond bark. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do after that. So uh, I'm going to get busy doing this. And we'll see when we get back. All right. These have been in the freezer now for probably a good 45 minutes to an hour. They're nice and cold. This was the second pan we did. We had 24 on the first pan, 18 on the second pan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop one in there. So what, this is going to be a second coating or is it doing a top coating? This is just the first coating of this, the one and only coating of chocolate, of the white oh, okay. bar. So it gets... One thing, then it gets another. Right. Double dip. Yeah, it gets like the, uh, you know how the, it's got the uh, cordial around the cherry, uh, between the chocolate and the cherry. Yeah. Uh, that's what this powdered sugar is. That's the coating that goes in there. Uh. So this is what I'm doing. Because it's going to turn liquidy like it would those. 
Once it softens up, it won't be liquid liquid, but it, it'll be a softer type. Oh. Kevin, you may have to give me another fork to help me with this. Yeah. As long as it ain't my fork. Yeah, as long as it ain't your fork, we can have a second fork. There we go. You see what I'm doing here with these? I'm just basically dropping them into the almond bark, kind of tapping them off a little bit, and putting them back down on the wax paper that I took them off of. I'm going to put me about three of them in there. Well, but bark must be something soft. I ain't never seen no bark you just drop something off into. What kind of tree does that come from? It don't. It's just what it's called. Okay. Now that you've seen what I'm doing here, kind of get the idea of it, uh, I'm going to finish these up and we will come back when we have all of them done. Then you need me to hit the button now? Please. Alright. Down. Alright y'all, Piggy and I have these done. And uh, I dipped some in some pink uh, Almond bark, well, it's supposed to have been red, but it's a dark pink compared to what it started out. Uh, if I put too much of the coloring in, it would have been way too much coloring. And then I drizzled some. So you can see the difference. There's some that's been drizzled with the almond bark, some that's been dipped. Now, if you use a coloring in your almond bark, do not use a liquid food coloring. You want to use either a paste, which is what this is, this is actually gel, but you can use gel, paste, or powdered food coloring in almond bark. Otherwise, if you put a liquid in it, it's going to cause it to seize up, and you're not going to be able to do anything with it. That was one of my problems a couple of years ago. All I had was the liquid food coloring, and it caused it to seize up. When I say seize up, if it ever happens to you, you'll know, because there's nothing you can do with, that, with, with it at, at that point. It is just a clumpy mess. And, uh, but if you want to color almond bark or melting chips or white chocolate or anything like that, use a gel uh, food coloring, a paste food coloring, or powdered food coloring. That is, I, I highly recommend that. And they are a little expensive, but they do last a long time. I've had these for about a year and a half, and I still have quite a lot in there because it doesn't take much. All you have to do is take a toothpick or something. And dip, dip a little out and put it in the whatever you're coloring and it will color it and it works great for cake icing as well but i'm not going to try these right now y'all if you want to see the taste test on the candies and the cookies watch my cookies and candy party or cookies and candy platter video that will be coming out probably let's see this video will come out on wednesday which is tomorrow. Then the coconut bonbon one will come out on Friday. The cookies will come out on Monday. And that will be, I see, today is what, the 12th? I think Fancy wants back out. <laughs> That's Fancy, y'all. That's my climber. Uh, let's see, it, whatever Monday is, today is the 12th, which is Tuesday, it's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I think the 18th, the cookie, the cookie platter will be out. And then uh, after that, we will have the uh, charcuterie board. And then after that will be the uh, party board tray. And anything that I have to make off of those, I will put up after that. So I hope you like the video. I hope you like homemade cherry cordials my way. And if not, you can make them your way. Y'all have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where about more?